Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I pray for your long life and happiness. Please like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a request for you all, please watch this video till the end to support me. Let's start with the information. Before we dive into today's updates, I need to tell you something important. Go to google.com and search for dinaropinions.com. Open the site, and you will find the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates all on a single page. Visit this site for more information. Recently, Executive Order 13303 was signed by the President of the United States. I take this as a positive sign. What does it mean? To me, it signifies protections for Iraq and also safeguards the interests of the United States. I'm excited to know that it was signed a couple of days early. A common question is, what do you think the new rate for the Iraqi dinar will be? I could be wrong, but I believe the rate will start at about $3.90 or so. However, we are totally guessing at this point. The moment they release the new exchange rate and new lower denomination notes, the float will automatically start on Forex. This float will drive the rate to the real effective exchange rate. In today's news, multiple articles from the CBI and Iraqi news outlets have reported significant updates. Much of this news confirms what my CBI contact recently told me, increasing my trust in their information. The CBI has announced that they are moving into the second phase of banking reforms. Wow, wow, wow! Folks, this RV train is moving rapidly now. It's clear that the reinstatement spigot is wide open. The reinstatement is coming, and it is now exploding. The Central Bank of Iraq has already discussed ending the currency auctions by the end of this year, with a float being the replacement for such an event. An article by Albazon mentioned that the failure to elect the Speaker of Parliament does not disrupt the work of the House of Representatives. We know that the budget has passed with $162 billion, up from $153 billion last year. There is plenty of news showing it has passed, but I have yet to find where they are covering a budget shortfall with a new rate. I was told to expect something within days of it being passed. It's interesting that they are talking about billions and not trillions for their budget totals. They must have a rate hike, right? You're getting it. We are just trying to piece together what that rate might be. Another notable piece of news is the continuation of the national emergency with respect to the stabilization of Iraq. The obstacles to the orderly reconstruction of Iraq, the restoration and maintenance of peace and security, and the development of political, administrative, and economic institutions continue to pose an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States. Consequently, the national emergency with respect to the stabilization of Iraq declared in Executive Order 13303 is being continued for one more year. Finally, there's a lot of interesting news but one in particular has caught my attention, the conversation about floating the Iraqi dinar. If you ever wanted something to happen and move in a positive direction, floating the Iraqi dinar would be it. Since they have not redenominated and have not removed the zeros, if they move to a floating exchange rate and the world starts buying up a lot of Iraqi dinar, it could cause the exchange rate to jump in value quickly. As soon as you spot a rate you're comfortable with, you better sell and get rid of the dinar. This is really exciting if they decide to go that route, although I just don't think they will do it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates.